gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter got it Hello everyone and thank you for coming to my channel. That channel is Depth Nails 48's World. Okay, don't forget to hit that notification uh, bell to let you know when I drop down new videos. Those are for my old subscribers and my current subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel at this time, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. But let's get on into this must-see video that I put out today, especially for you. As well as myself, I must speak on it. Yes, you know I speak my I gotta speak my mind when I have a video or a um a no notification feed come across my screen on my phone, and it seems like it's something I want to talk about. Well, yes, it is. I don't know if it's hype. I don't know if it's for the ratings, but Portia Williams and Eva Marcel are having words on social media, their Instagram account, Twitter, Facebook. Who knows what they're doing? Okay. But it's on some one of those social media feeds, okay? But let's get on into the article. It is saying from Hollywood Life, uh, uh, Gina Limassini wrote it out for us. Her title of her article is Real Housewives of Atlanta, Portia Williams Shades, Eva Marcel. I learned who my real friends are. And that title says a lot. It was dropped today. Uh, for our viewership, okay? <laughs> it was done at 10 a.m. this morning, Eastern Time Zone, of course. But I'm just here to tell you, I don't really know what's going on with these folks, okay? They sitting here going all willy nilly, saying in and everything. Like I said, I really don't know if it's for the ratings because it is coming. A, a fight like this is coming on a couple of days before the new episode for season 12. I think it's uh, the second episode installment they've given us. So maybe it's all a bunch of hype. I don't know. But let's get on into the story. Why don't we? All right. It says, Portia Williams seemingly responded to Eva Marcel's recent comments about her on the November 10th episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Eva shaded Portia after she discovered that it was Portia who told Kenya why Eva didn't bring her kids to Kenya's daughter's birthday party or, you know, party, out, coming out party. Uh, the drama is heating up down in the ATL, which is here where I live, where I reside, born and raised. Okay. Then we got Portia Williams shared a cryptic quote on Instagram. So it was an Instagram feed that they were getting the information from that they called themselves battling with each other on. Okay. After she shared a clip exclusively obtained by Hollywood Life from the upcoming November 10th episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, where Eva Marcel dissed her while chatting with co-stars Cynthia Bailey and Candy Burris. Portia seemingly responded to Eva's comment in a post on Instagram, which featured a quote that read, we never lose friends, we simply learn who the real ones are. Now I'm just going to go a step further, my sidebar like I like to give here and there. Portia, when did these people actually become your friends, okay? If you all start on a new show and y'all happen to, uh, what do you call it, interact with one another when you're not taping, that's a good thing. Try to preserve that friendship. But you, like Nene said, I think you all are just colleagues. Y'all have to film with each other to get y'all family time and y'all can get paid. Y'all have to bring drama to the show. So that's going to be more so... None of y'all are really going to be friends because you're trying to outdo each other to keep those ratings up and to keep, the, keep those paychecks going up like in revenue, okay? Not decreasing like the error going down. Y'all's trying to stay going up. So, of course, if y'all have to throw each other under the bus a time or two here and there, you're going to do it because, hey, you're in a ratchet TV show that promotes drama. They don't care how they get it, just long as it's mindless drama. They don't necessarily want you to put each uh, your hands on each other, but if it's going to give ratings, okay, go have it. <laughs> but you might be catching a case once that film stops rolling, okay? Or taping, I should say. But we're going to go back to the article. That was just my sidebar. It says, Portia then captured the post. Okay, I'm done now. I'll be cleansing my page now. She added a few uh, telling emojis, including a snake, a laughing face, and a red X. Portia posted, Portia's post came after she took to her Instagram stories to share the clip of Eva talking about her from the show's new episode airing on Sunday. If you haven't been following the Real Housewives of Atlanta tea, then you wouldn't know that's all 
of the drama started when Eva decided not to bring her children to Kenya's Moore's daughter Barbie theme party, which will air on the show Sunday as well. Why? Eva said she didn't, or she didn't, excuse me, she decided not to bring her kids to the party simply because she didn't know Kenya well enough at the time and wasn't sure if there was there would be drama at the party, something she didn't want her kids to witness. Now, me personally, it's another sidebar. It was full of shit. They live in a world that we only get a chance to peep in at. We're looking at it from the inside or from the outside in. We all know if you want your child or children to come to the uh, birthday party or party, uh, you would have brought them. You just didn't want to bring them. Don't put... Uh, in the mix that, oh, Kenya's a bad person, or Kenya might start shit, or Kenya might start throwing stuff. This ain't uh, basketball-wise. <laughs> we don't have, what's her name? E well, not Eva. Uh, damn, what is that her name? Oh, I can't tell. She threw a bottle at somebody. She's light-skinned, was married to that uh, Ultra Cinco person. Evelyn, Evelyn, yeah. She ain't like Evelyn. She don't throw, I ain't never seen no Real Housewives of Atlanta be like a basketball wide star and throw bottles of champagne at folks. You know, they really trying to hurt people, okay? Yeah, I wouldn't want to be around them. Forget my kids. Hell, I ain't finna be around them, all right? But nobody in the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise from season one up to this point of season 12, I really seen go after kids, okay? No, that's just human innate instinct right there and then it's just it's not right and i don't think uh we would want to see that on tv somebody go after somebody's children okay no 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 so Eva, that was just faking fraudulent of you you need to pull up baby you need to really pull up kenya ain't checking for you and no other housewives is checking for you to harm you through harming your kids come on girl you know better do better okay but that was my sidebar we're going back to the article uh so it goes uh so where does portia come into the mix She's the one who delivered the news to Kenya about why Eva didn't bring her children to the party. And Kenya was offended, according to Cynthia, who said, I mean, Kenya definitely felt some kind of way. But, you know, Kenya, Kenya can be a little dramatic and that's nothing she can't get past. Then Candy chimed in and noted that Kenya probably felt the way she did because of the way the information was brought to her. And that's when Eva went off about Portia. Portia? Just had a baby, and I tiptoed around her little feelings. Come on now, itch. You want me to go off? She began telling Candy and Cynthia in the clip from the upcoming episode. Portia, she's got enough bull-ish going on in her life. She can converse about that. Portia might want to stay all the way up out of my business. She's still got her C-section healing, and she's over here worried about my, or worried about uh, somebody else's baby. Okay, then it goes on and says, we'll have to see how it unfolds. The Real Housewives of Atlanta airs Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Bravo, guys. So they trying to give it to us. They trying to give it to us. But I'm like, Eva need to come off her bandwagon. And Porsche, yep, yeah, Porsche kind of needs to stay out of the cold bed. She don't want people in her business, especially Candy Bird. So, yeah, it should have been more so. Let's let Cynthia drop those little clues and bombs and, and, and informational bones, carrying them from one place to the other because yes i think cynthia bailey is the one that's going to be starting shit with people she's going to be going in and out in and out of each people's uh conversations and her interactions with whatever people and she's going to be dropping little bits and pieces for them to uh have a negative interaction with each other that's the part cynthia bailey is playing up uh this season i'm pretty sure she got it from her so-called fiance mike it'll be hype for tv he said why don't you try to or put that in, you know, your uh, interactions with your so-called people. Because, you know, I already said only you and Candy are the classiest ones on the show. So he discarded the rest of the women like they were trash. So that's another reason why I don't like Mr. Mike Keel. Okay? But anyway, that's all I had for this video. So I spoke my mind on it. Personally, I think it's a PR stunt. Great PR stunt, stunt to hype us up to see that next episode, which is season episode two okay so that's my thoughts it's just a really big play on getting people to continue to come on in and watching the show and making the ratings go through the roof which is a good thing for 
the people that are on the Real Housewives of Atlanta because then they can go back to the uh, bargaining table at the end of the season and say, okay, well, uh, I want this much or can I have this much since I brought this, that, and third to the table. Okay, it blew up your ratings. They were really looking for me, checking for me. They said, I'm going to bring all, you know, the heat this time. Then they have to go and re reevaluate things and it may get them a good, a uh, sizable check for season 13. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But that's all I had to say. Uh, and if they did get their little feelings hurt here and there, they in a drama field, a reality show. What do they expect? Have thick skin, roll with the punches, continue us giving us drama. <laughs> and that's what we want to see. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. But that's my pick of the week of this particular video that I want to share first and foremost before I get to the rest of them that are seem to be piling up on me. Y'all drop down in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about it. Speak on it yourselves, okay? I give you a platform to do so. So speak, speak, speak out, okay? And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.